Florida now in his sights. Matthew is gaining in strength. The governor there says everyone should prepare for a direct hit, warning the destruction could be catastrophic. The president has already advised those in the storm's path to take no risks. And overnight, residents scrambles to fill their tanks and get away as Matthew barrels his way towards them. It's crazy. Every place I've been to so far, it's jam-packed. We just had cops here. Act, almost an accident. This pump, we didn't think worked, but I guess it does. Which now, if I don't back up to it right now, somebody's going to pull up to it before me. The National Guard have been drafted in to help with the emergency, as schools, universities and airports all shut up shop. Planks of wood are in great demand to board up homes, and after authorities warned residents to stock up on enough supplies to last three days, supermarket shelves now lie bare. I'm buying a lot of things to prepare for the Hurricane Matthew that's coming through, a lot of styrofoam cups and plates, so we have things to eat because we're probably not going to be able to wash dishes without water. Um, ice packs to keep things cool, we're probably not going to have electricity for a couple of days. Over 12 million U.S. residents are currently under hurricane watches and warnings across Florida, Georgia, North and South Carolina. Vehicles are now bumper to bumper across large parts of the region as millions are evacuated. But the National Hurricane Center says it's still too soon to predict where Matthew will wreak the most havoc.